Hey guys, welcome back for those that are coming back and for those that are new here, my name is Laura and today is day six of Cloth Diaper Week 2022 and the theme is what I wish I knew before cloth diapering. And the first thing that I want to talk about and the first thing that I say to literally anyone who asks for recommendations or tips and tricks when they're starting their cloth diaper um, journey is give yourself grace and this is the most important thing that I've learned from cloth diapering and I wish I would have known before I started cloth diapering because these were issues that I thought I was just having and no one else was having so anyway give yourself grace learning anything this comes with just learning anything new there are trial and error phases in literally anything you learn so giving yourself grace is so important so you don't keep getting down on yourself. You don't think that you're the only one having this issue. You give yourself grace and realize that you're just learning something for the first time or realize that you're just going through a trial and error phase and it's just a phase and it's going to pass. That has been my number one thing because I, some of the struggles that I struggled with were looking at other people's kiddos and seeing this picture perfect diaper and in the beginning, I was not able to get a decent fit on Grace, especially with wrapping absorbency around Grace. And I was always like, why do my diapers look so wonky and everybody else's are perfect? The pinning is just amazing. The snapping is amazing. And I'm over here and I'm really struggling with the fit on Grace. It's a learning process. But that's the other thing. The diaper doesn't need to look good. It needs to function. That is the whole point. As long as the diaper is functioning, then you're doing okay. That's that's the point of diapering. So don't be too hard on yourself. Something else I was also super hard on myself with, and it's kind of silly, was leaking. So you're going to experience leaking at some point in your cloth journey. It's just gonna happen. It happens to everybody. I can guarantee you, anybody you've talked to in their diapering journey in general, not just cloth, has experienced a leak at some point in time. And leaking does not mean you failed. Leaking is something you can learn from and something you can troubleshoot and fix. It's, it's not an end all be all. Another thing that I needed to give myself grace with was laundry. So cloth diapering was the first time I actually needed to know how much detergent I needed to get the diapers clean, but not using too much detergent at the same time. So this was a thing for me. I didn't know we had super soft water, but we have super soft water here. So my thing is, if I use too much detergent, I get detergent buildup, but if I don't use enough detergent, then our diapers won't be clean. So finding that happy medium was a process for us. And again, a trial and error phase, we ended up getting detergent buildup two or three times, and it can be, super annoying and overwhelming and it can be a massive process but i can guarantee you that there is going to be someone to encourage support love on you give you any tips and tricks that they can possibly give you in the community there are so many people out there who are willing to help in any way they can whether that you need tips and tricks or you need some kind of support people are out there who are willing to help and that's what i absolutely love about this community so that is another thing that i really needed to give myself grace with so all in all if someone were to ask me one thing that i've learned from my cloth diaper journey that i wish i could go back and just keep telling myself is give myself grace another thing i learned during this cloth diaper journey is that prints can be addicting and I say this because I was someone who chased prints all the time. So I wanna say if you are someone who is on a budget or you are someone who wants a specific amount of diapers and to stay at that specific amount of diapers, do not enter the buy sell trade pages. Because I was someone who was on a budget and only wanted a certain amount of diapers and I ended up on the buy sell trade pages and there's you can get so overwhelmed with just buying diapers and it's crazy. It's crazy that the market for buying and trading diapers is what it is, but it's also good because when you go to a resale, resale value is there. But if you're going to see a print and say, okay, I want it, and then see another print and say, okay, I want it, I would highly recommend 
not entering the buy sell trade pages and just getting what you need for your stash and just not going there because while people are like oh no I can enter the group and I'll, I'll just get used diapers and then I'll leave and you know I won't be trying to get so many prints it can be addicting and if you're going to buy used diapers that's perfectly fine but when you get what you want and when you get what you need I would recommend getting out of the groups but so that is another thing that I learned and I wish I knew before starting Cloth Diaper Journey because before I started, I was like, I would never use, I would never buy used diapers. Well, that that's not the case. They're very easy to clean and sanitize and it can get into a spiraling habit. So that is another thing I learned. Something else that is super important that I wish I knew was that cloth diapering is not all or nothing. I used to really beat myself up when I needed to use disposables. And now looking back, I don't know why. Um, but cloth diapering is not all or nothing. If you are someone who is dedicated to using cloth all the time, that's perfect. That's great. And if you are someone who would like to part-time cloth and part-time use disposables, that is okay too. That, that It's whatever works best for your family. And let me tell you, if you are a family who is just using disposables and that was, that's what works for your family, that is okay. Cloth diapering does not work for everybody and that is okay. You do not need to feel bad about putting a disposable diaper on a baby. It's just, it, it's what works in the moment. Even people when they go on vacation, they take disposables. Some people even just use disposables overnight. It's okay, it's okay. Um, I see oftentimes people be th beating themselves up about it and the fact that I used to do it I'm just like, no, it's so silly. It's really so silly. Whatever works best for you is what's best for you. So just do what is best for you. Something else I wish I would have known is that cloth diapering is easier than it seems. So before jumping into cloth diapering, I was doing a ton of research. I was trying to gain as much knowledge as I possibly could. I was looking at so many different brands. I was looking at so many different absorbency types. I was looking at so many different types of diapers in general. And everything together was just so overwhelming. And I wish I would have just told myself earlier, because we didn't start until after Grace was born, but I wish I would have just told myself earlier, just jump in, just give it a try, because it's not as hard as you're making it. You're making it seem so overwhelming, when the reality is if you just jump in and try it, you'll find out what you like and go from there. So that is something I also wish I knew, was just to jump in and try something because I was so busy doing all the research and getting so overwhelmed. And I really wish I would have cloth diapered Grace from the newborn stage, but it is what it is. And we can always do that with next baby, God willing. So that is something I also learned. So I wanna know, now that I've shared some things that I wish I knew before I started cloth diapering, I wanna know some things you wish you knew before you started cloth diapering. Make sure to leave those down in the comments. And guys, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys soon.